Hey, 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 it's TDA and welcome back to episode 8 already of this Dyson Sphere Let's Play. In the last episode, we built this nice little factory where we're now producing turbines. And we've also produced, let me fly over here quickly, um, our little bit of the real estate where we're now building titanium alloy. This road goes really quick, as you can see. We've used up all the titanium that we brought to the planet, and uh, that's in this part. And that's also, again, why I split these up, because I like to control what goes where. We're still producing yellow signs. Um, we're going to be um, running out of this quite soon as well. But for now, we're not actually researching anything that needs yellow signs, so no problem. But that way, we can make sure we're actually stacking up a little bit on that. Especially because this production is not that fast. However, instead of flying up to the other planet and grabbing some titanium by hand, we are going to do something else. We are going to prepare to automate that. Now, I have two blueprints over here to do just that. One of them is, and I'll actually set them down so you can see. Um, they work the other way around, so let's do it like that. And let's be smart about it. Let's put them here. And you'll see why in a second. Hopefully I put it the right way around. And then this is part two. I need to flip that around as well. Oh man, I was really not that smart. Sorry. Let's remove this for a moment. Remember, you can use the uh, mass remove button. Really easy when you make little building mistakes like I just did. Let's start with part two this time around. And yeah, that should work. And then we have part one as well. Kicking it around, doing it like that. Just putting it here for the moment uh, because I want to make sure I explain what's going on here. Um, so yeah, what we want to create is the drones. And if this can be built, there you go. For drones, we need processors, we need iron, more iron, always iron, and thrusters that need even more iron, or in this case, in the form of steel. Pretty straightforward, so it's uh, good to have like two thrusters for every shuttle, because one shuttle needs two thrusters, so we have those nicely lined up. We will need to put in some manual processors, because we're not making those yet on this planet, so we brought some with us. This is a good place to uh, start crafting your first ones. And then let's see what else do we need. We need some copper and we need some um, steel or actually iron. However, in this case, uh, I, I made the blueprint like this. And of course, you need to connect those up normally. Uh, well, you don't. You can actually automatically connect them if you put them one little space over. I'm actually going to take this down because in this specific area, I found a little area where I can just connect them up without getting complicated about it. So as you can see, this needs simple, straight up copper. We have some surplus copper right over here. So why make our lives difficult if we can just, just do it like that? And I'm actually going to bring those the other way around rather than doing it like I originally intended to do it now if you don't forget to switch between the delete modes because otherwise you'll end up deleting your entire blueprint been there done that done that don't recommend it and once again we are simply going to tap in this little thing of steel and again this goes to show don't make more buildings than you need. Um, this steel, as you can see, is actually stacking up. So we can actually take out this steel production entirely. Even if they're idle, they're still uh, consuming energy. Um, but if they're producing, they're even consuming a lot more energy, obviously. But this iron is feeding into our mall, our little hub over here. But that's already full on buildings, so that doesn't require anything right now. Of course, if I take some buildings out, for example, right now I think I'm low on storage units, yeah. So let me see where I have those, those are over here. 
bad example because I don't believe they actually use steel, but they only use iron. But let's say I take out something that does use steel, of course this will be using up, but it's not going to be that much. Um, this is also being used for titanium alloy production, but as we can see that went really fast. We have hundreds of titanium alloy now. Um, and it's stacked up already. So that means that we can also tap into his, make sure we're producing some shuttles. Um, and of course at some, um, some, some point we want to be mass producing titanium alloy, mass producing shuttles, mass producing buildings maybe even. Um, and we'll need to make sure we have a more permanent solution for this, but for now this works just fine. Um, assuming I of course connect the right belts to the things where they need to go. Um, this needs the steel. Oh, and this actually needs iron, so my bad. But again, we have a solution to that. Because we have the same problem for the same reason over here. And we can connect this up. Well, this, no, 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 no. This is not acceptable. This does not look nice. I'm not the biggest purist, as you know, when it comes to the initial builds looking nice. But that was just too much, even for me. There we go. That's a lot neater. This belt does not need to be that long. There's probably a reason why it was that long in my other build, but um, it doesn't need to be like that for now. And now we are actually creating little drones. Again, not a fast production, but this will be chugging along and it will be enough for what we need it at the first place. Now. Are you ready for the most ugly build that we will be making in this entire playthrough? At least, I think it's the most ugly build. I am actually going to do something I usually don't do. I just flatten an entire area. Uh, because I think this is a nice central area. And it will serve our purpose very nicely for what we want to do. So, the final build. Very ugly. Again. Warning you right now, this is going to be really ugly. It's also going to be, once we start tearing down things, this will be probably one of the first things we want to tear down, uh, fine tune a little bit, and you'll see why. However, I made this blueprint in such a way that we have one little hub where we're making all the end game buildings. So what are we making over here? We are making rockets, or not rockets, sorry, that's a different item. We are making reinforced thrusters. We need those to make the logistic vessels. So these are the vessels that will be traveling between planets to get us stuff. We are also making the planetary logistics station over here. Those are the planetary version of the interplanetary logistics station, which allows vessels to travel between planets. In most cases, this is the only item that you want to be using. These do have their uses, um, especially if you only want to use them locally. There's no reason to, to plop down the bigger ones that are a lot more expensive, but also take up a lot of more space in terms of you can not uh, place them as close together as you can place the other ones. Um, and what you can see here is the lot of boxes because we need a lot of stuff that comes from the other planet that we are mass producing stuff at the moment. Uh, we need titanium, we need some processors, we need titanium alloy. Um, and by doing it like this, you, what you can easily do, for example, Let's just hop over here, take all the titanium alloy, put it in this box, and you're good to go. Of course, in this case, it's even easier just to directly connect these, um, which we might as well do while we're talking. But you don't need to do this. I just want to point that out. Um, again, it makes sure you're in control of what you're using where. Down to personal preference, but uh, if, for example, for whatever reason, this is on the other side of the planet where you're building this, um, this is an easy way. You won't be using this these boxes for that long, so it's a stopgap solution, not a pretty one. Definitely not a pretty one, but it uh, it works and it gets the job done for what you need to do, needed to do. And again, this is one of the first builds here. we will be tearing down pretty soon. But uh, we need <laughs> we need to get st uh, get started on it um, before we can actually finish. Okay, so what else do we need? We need um, 
processors, which we don't have. We need turbines, which we do have. So let's make sure we feed those in the, as well. There we go. So this will make sure we are producing some, at least some of these vessels. Uh, but again, we don't need that much. Um, as you can see, this is not just feeding into the vessels. This is also feeding into a nice amount of um, materials for these and the interplanar, interstellar, sorry, logistics centers. You need 40 for each. So that's quite a lot. And then we need titanium, which we don't have anymore because we kind of run out. We need some steel. Well, steel again. And it's all almost turning, turning into a running gag at this point. But uh, let's also tap into this one. It happens to be really close, so why not use it? There we go. So that will be automated. And then uh, all that remains are the magic sticks, as I call them, or the proper name for those is the... Um, oh, I forgot particle containers, sorry. So there we go. Let's flip that around. I have a little build for that. I'm just going to place it here. For the simple reason is this is where it needs to go. Oh fun, it actually doesn't work. Well that's okay, let's just build that by hand. Um, I'll fix the blueprint later. But it's not the most complicated build, so... We need this to build particle containers. You can build those from rare materials, which we don't have. Even more rare materials, which we don't have. But it will need turbines, copper and graphene. Well, we have the turbines right over here, so that's why I wanted to build it here. There we go. That's one. Not entirely sure what's going on with this. We go we need copper and again we have the copper really close let's just make use of another splitter and put it over here again this will actually be splitting it up so I was wondering what the hell was going on with this. Um, but as you can see, this is actually on a shift of the, the lines over here. Not really a problem, but I don't like all those sorters jumping around. That's a little bit messy. And I, that's was also probably the reason why my blueprint wouldn't connect over there. Um, let's test that theory, actually. Just checking if it's the blueprint or if it's just the lines so we place it over here no we place it over here for example yeah it does work over there okay let's just go with the blueprint in that case might as well it's the buy the book playthrough after all but we didn't build all of this for nothing because we still need them There you go. If you can see the the belt shifting here with the little core, that's that's the problem. That that was what caused causing us our misery in terms of the blueprints. It is something that's really unavoidable when you're building with blueprints. You will encounter little places like that where the fault line shift, and for whatever reason, buildings get compressed and yeah, just make your Blueprint life miserable. In general, you can avoid most of that. If you make your blueprints uh, close to the uh, um, equator, not too far away from the equator at least, uh, and you keep building around the equator as well with especially the larger constructions, make more sense around the equator as well because you have most room there. 
um, by doing that you make sure that you can continue to build those uh, you won't run into those copy paste issues um, one more detail actually what you can actually also do is you can see that we're actually running low on blue research and one easy way to fix that and let me put down these power towers to make sure we charge up while I talk um, remember when we built this we could only stack those up three high we can now stack them up five high we have plenty of uh, resources here I mean we have a nice little stack of circuit boards and magnetic coils to leach those from this basically increases our blue science production now by 40% uh, actually a little bit more than that 66% and by doing that, uh, we'll make sure we speed up the last few research that we're doing. Currently, we're only working on personal upgrades. So, not the highest priority things, but it's still good to have those finished. Um, some movement speed, maybe. Just trying to select a few things that don't actually require yellow. But we are running low on those. We finished most of that now. The veins utilization we actually skipped. Um, let's take that one as well. And yeah, let's just start queuing up the rest. There we go. All right. Um, one thing we haven't actually done yet is we haven't connected up the graphene. And as you know, we've been stockpiling those. We have almost a full storage full. Sounds like a lot. It's not. We will find that out later. But still, we, uh, we have a nice stockpile to go for now. And where is our little magic sticks facility? It's over there. And as you can tell, originally my other playthrough came for the other side. It doesn't really matter. Again, this is just a stopgap solution. So we have the initial little bit of production going that we need for the final builds. Um, we can actually already connect this up straight up to the part where we want it to go, which is over here. And let's connect that. So, summarizing, what, are, what do we have over here? We are making, as soon as we go to the other planet, pick, us, pick up some more um, processors, we will be building planetary logistics stations. We will be putting those in here. Um, you will have to shift those from this box to this box. You might want to straight up connect those. That is up to you. Uh, I like to keep it like this because I do actually prefer using the planetary uh, logistics centers initially. For a few things as well so by doing it i again stay in control of how many of each i'm producing um, but again personal preference and we are producing some of this but um we have some rockets stockpiling here as well we don't need that many of them um, and as soon as we have this connected up we'll be producing the magic sticks now that does mean that even though we've built everything we need what we still need to do after we connect this up, before I forget, there we go. Otherwise it won't actually be doing anything. Where are you going? Oh, all the way over there, okay. Um, once we finish up this, what we uh, need to do is go to the other planet, pick up processors, pick up titanium. Uh, while we're there, we're go probably going to pick up quite a bit of uh, solar um, panels as well. And then uh, we are almost ready to go into the, uh, the mid game, as I like to call it. As you can see, my early game builds, we've all built all of them now. Um, in the mid game, we are going to really scale things up. We are going to mass produce pretty much all the items that we've already been producing, but in a much larger scale. And um, yeah, that also means that the format of these um, episodes will likely change a little bit because watching me build 
dozens and dozens and dozens of smelters might not be the most interesting. I will probably do it uh, a little bit like that in the initial episode so you can kind of get a feel for how I'm doing this because I have noticed that a lot of other um, content creators kind of seem to be approaching it in a different way. Uh, also by reading Reddit and, and forums like that, people seem to be going all out on these logistic centers and just making mass fleets of drones flying around etc. You can do that, of course, it looks really cool. But I don't think it's necessarily the most efficient way to play. Uh, and it also drains a lot in your power. So I'll be giving you some tips on how to kind of avoid the massive power drain into the late game. As you can tell, I've not even be build been building any power uh, uh, thermal power stations. I've never been using um, solar even still. Even though we actually have some of those on us. Um, we all, we've only built just two circles around the world of these uh, little wind turbines and that's it and we are actually still quite nicely in the green when it comes to our energy uh, well i see a lot of questions on forums like i have known to have enough energy how do i get more power uh, how do i manage this my power thermal power stations run low etc uh, etc et if you think about how much you're building and you only scale up what you actually need i think you can avoid a lot of these issues anyway to summarize, I will be flying back and forth between the planet to grab another load of titanium, another load of processors. Make sure this all gets started and I will meet you in the next episode. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and I will see you there.